California has led the charge towards cleaner energy sources with efforts to make solar more widespread throughout the entire state. One part of this push in the state of California has been the solar mandate that was incorporated into the building code standards under Title 24. While the goal of the mandates is to promote clean renewable energy, many homeowners and business owners are unclear of what the requirements are, with a common question that we receive being, is it really mandatory for me to put solar panels on my new construction home? The short answer is yes. And if you need help understanding the current California solar mandates, you can count on Pacific Sun Technologies to help you navigate this while you're constructing your new home. And we'll be able to do far more than working directly with your builder who probably overlooked this particular mandate because we work on a lot of new construction projects where the builder did overlook that. So. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and request a hassle-free quote if you are constructing a home, you have an existing solar system and you want to add batteries, or you haven't made the switch to clean renewable energy. We really do make the process of making the switch to affordable, clean renewable energy easy and affordable. So go ahead, use the link down in the description below to request your hassle-free quote. So what the heck is Title 24? Well, according to the California Energies Commission, the Title 24 requirements are designed to reduce wasteful and unnecessary energy consumption in newly constructed and existing buildings. Essentially, Title 24 establishes building energy efficient standards for the construction of new buildings, whether it's your home that you're gonna live in or a business or an ADU, an additional dwelling unit, or even your existing building you're living in today because you maybe made alterations to it. Now, Title 24 requirements are updated every three years. And since the first implementation of it was back in 2020, we are getting close to a revision or a revisit of the Title 24 code. And there has been a lot of changes since its adoption back in 2022. One particular thing being that we are no longer on a net metering program, but on a solar billing program in the state of California, which means you can't just go solar to see the benefits of it. You need to incorporate a battery. Now, this is where we have come into play for many of our clients that were building their first home here in the state of California, and the builder accidentally overlooked Title 24 and the solar mandate aspect. So we've been involved on a lot of new construction projects at the end of the day. And one thing that we've come to realize is our clients want solar with battery backup. They, they haven't just wanted a solar only system unless they were doing the ADU and then they were just trying to comply with the building code. So that way they could get their permits and get their rough electricals and all those other things. Because if you don't have your solar permit, a lot of the jurisdictions won't let you progress in your project and sign you off. So that's one thing you got to keep in mind if you're building a home and you're not aware of Title 24. It's better to get us involved sooner rather than later with your new construction project because we can do a lot of things to integrate this technology into your home and we can make a lot of great recommendations as well to make the home smart and seamless. So there'll be more on that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to learn about what I'm talking about in terms of smart integrations with the electrical loads. But for the most part right now, we're focusing on the building code, Title 24, and how it affects you when you're building your home and why you need to call us to get your quote and get us involved early on so that way we can help you. Now other areas, since we're a C10 contractor, we can assist you with is doing the electrical for your home as well. We can install those LED lights. We can run all the lights and outlets for all the appliances. We can handle the electrical related work for your project. So you can reach out to us, our expertise being in the solar and the battery, and we can also manage the electrical side of it to ensure when we're doing the emergency loads panel that the loads that we're placing in there are the loads you want backed up when there's a power outage, allowing you to really just shut off the utility and run on your solar and battery power. 
And the beauty of that is if we're involved at an early enough stage, we can help really incorporate this technology into your home in a seamless manner that you wouldn't typically get if you call us after the fact where you're having to retrofit it and you're gonna have external conduit in a lot of situations. What is the key benefit to Title 24 at the end of the day? Well, the key benefit is it's setting a standard for your builder in terms of energy efficiency. So it's not just the solar, but the big advantage is the energy efficiency. Your, your builder can't take shortcuts on the installation in your walls or in your roof. Uh, they have to use radiant barrier. They have to use energy efficient uh, roofing materials. They, they gotta use just energy efficient materials in general. They gotta have Energy Star appliances selected for you, which I know you're gonna go with the more high-end stuff, but you want them to all be Energy Star certified. Those types of things that California mandated are beneficial to you at the end of the day because energy efficient windows make a big difference compared to your traditional single pane aluminum frame windows or wood frame windows that would leak air and weren't very good at helping keep the home cool during the summer and warm during the winter. So those things, it's, it's, it's involved in so many other areas, not just the solar aspect. The beauty of that mandate though for the solar is that now you're trying to create your own energy on site and the state wants you to do that. They want you to be independent of the grid. I don't take that as a negative that they mandated it for your new construction. Yes, it's a extra cost you gotta incur. Maybe you can't do this or that with the building because you gotta adjust your budget for it. But you know, for us, when we work with our clients, we have financing available on new construction projects. So that way you can still use your loans that you have in place with those budgets already allocated for the rest of the project. And then we can provide you with a separate financing option just for the solar and the battery aspect of the project. Now, again, depends on the overall scope. We've had projects that surpassed what you would probably expect in terms of a system, but we've had properties with dual solar systems. They had a ADU that they were building with the home. The main home had roughly like a 16 to 18 kilowatt solar system, 40 kilowatt hours of in-phase battery backup. And then they had the ADU with like a modest little four kilowatt solar system. I wanna say it was only like 10 panels, but it was there. So they had these dual systems going on. We've had other projects in other areas like, hey, Newport Beach, where we're putting it all on a flat roof and we're putting into Tesla Powerwalls and Powerwall Plus Inverter, so that way it's a fully integrated Tesla ecosystem for this particular client. That's the beauty of us over some of our competitors is we're specializing in various sectors of this space, and we're certified to install a range of different products to meet various application needs and wants. So we have obviously Enphase available to you. We have Solar Edge available to you. We have the Canadian Solar EP Cube available to you for a much tight, compact solution. Of course, we're Tesla Energy certified, so that way we can give you the Tesla Powerwall or Powerwall Plus units and the Tesla Solar Inverter if you just wanted to go with something simple. We've worked with clients that were building ADUs and they needed to just comply with the new building code or the Title 24 requirements to have solar put on that ADU. And that might be as a surprise, but you know, it was just eight panels, very simple, very easy. And we typically do that with Enphase microinverters, but we could always do it with a solar inverter if that was your choice. So either way you look at it, Title 24 is better for you at the end of the day because your builder can't take shortcuts. They're gonna give you better materials at the end of the day. Is it gonna cost you a little bit more? Sure, but you're gonna have a really kick-ass energy efficient home. And if you work with us, you're gonna have an awesome solar storage solution that's gonna power your home continuously separate from the grid. And obviously the grid's still there, you need it. We don't do off-grid systems, but at least you won't have any costs associated with the utility company. So you will see savings immediately by incorporating the solar and the battery system with your new construction. So. That's all I got for this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay informed about things like this. And of course, if you're building a home or you already live in your home and you wanna add batteries or you haven't made the switch to clean renewable energy for whatever reason, you just keep forking over three, four, five hundred dollars $500 a month to utility company, put that money back in your pocket. Give us a call and request your hassle-free quote so that way we can help you make a difference on the environment and in your wallet. 
So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.